still working off plywood countertops and washing dishes in the bathroom, but that is coming to an end very soon. Something I've been wanting to address on this channel, I've had several emails, messages asking me about what is going to happen to our channel with the COPPA rules going around. So if you watch probably just about any other YouTuber, you've probably heard about this at some point, that there are some new regulations coming out in regards to content that's family friendly or that could be considered made for kids. Now this is something that I've thought a lot about. I've actually gone in and marked all of my videos that have my kids in them as made for kids. There's a lot of scary things going around. YouTube has kept a lot of the qualifications as what is considered content that's made for kids pretty vague. Now I know that most of my content is made for adults. It's family friendly. Sometimes my kids are in the content. They're often not and kids probably sometimes do watch it with their parents, but I don't intend it to be made for kids. I've seen a lot of YouTube, homestead, homeschool type families going out on different platforms and doing videos just kind of on a private setting, not on YouTube. And I have no idea if we'll do something like that. I would really love doing some kind of community where I share extra videos, more behind the scenes, kind of more videos that I feel like I'm talking to people who are just like me and not the world in general. So that's something I'm thinking about. Now as long as YouTube is up and going and it is like it is right now at this exact moment, I will continue to share on here, I'll continue to share free content, recipes, all of my DIYs, because I love it and I will love to do that. With some of the things going around right now, it makes me realize what would happen if I lost contact with all of you just suddenly. And the only real way to 100% safeguard against that happening is for you to join my email list. So I often post about free eBooks and different offers and that's you know how I typically grow my email list but today I just kind of wanted to ask if you've gotten anything from some of my tutorials and my recipes or if you just like watching our family I'm leaving a link in the description box below farmhouseonboon.com slash subscribe that is where you can get on our email list and if for any reason ever which I don't anticipate happening I have no real fears about this but something happened and I could no longer be on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or any of those ways that I can reach you. Our family will continue to make videos as we restore our Victorian farmhouse. We'll be sharing our life and our family in the form of videos. And even if I get kicked off all those places, I will be putting them up on the internet and the only way for you to find them through that subscriber list where I can reach out to you. Yeah, really. And mom, <laughs> you, you wanna know the, 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 the will scratch you. The cat's will scratch you. And, and that's why you, we are animal vets. And animal and I'm a police officer and Eli. Uh, I ordered a bunch of different styles of baby wraps and carriers because I promised you a video on comparing all of them. This here is dirty, <laughs> but it is a baby Catan. So I'm getting really acquainted with it so that I can properly review and tell you about all of them. So that video will be coming in the next couple of weeks. I have several more to try. I have some DIYs.
trying to decide what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. We have swim lessons for two of the boys. There's a town nearby that has an indoor pool. And every summer I've kind of meant to put them in swimming lessons, but I always procrastinate and forget to do it. I taught the older girls how to swim, but that was before I had a whole bunch of little kids to watch. And so I find that I wanted to teach them how to swim and that's been on my agenda, but I never get to it because I always have a couple of other kids with me that need constant attention. And so I'm too afraid to let them get their life jackets off. So we decided just to go ahead and go with the swim lessons. So my goal is that by this summer, all four of the kids four and up will be swimming. And then I can actually bring them to the pool because I'm kind of at the stage where I can't bring all the kids to the pool because only two are comfortable with swimming pretty confidently. I think we're gonna get a sourdough skillet going in the oven so that we'll have some food going and ready when we get home from swim lessons. Firing up the vintage beauty yet again. We just absolutely love this thing. I'm going with the same breakfast sausage that I used at breakfast time today and I'm just gonna put it in here. I think it'll be really delicious. 